part two of my 2017 news review. Uh, what have I got for you? Well, no prizes for guessing one of the topics. Nah. Seems like we've got to have a bloody general election and referendum every bloody year now. So, yeah, we had another one this year, just so the MPs were sent of attention again. The yeah, this time round, it was Theresa May, the Prime Minister, calling a snap election, uh, even though she'd assured everybody she wouldn't. Is that absolutely certain, that we're not going to see an election before I'm, 2020? I'm, I'm not going to be calling a snap election. <laughs> Are your pants on fire there, Mrs May? Any road, she were up against Labour's Jeremy Corbyn, who looked a bit like a geography teacher off Grange Hill or something. Well, this is a surprise. Yeah, any road, all the way through the campaign, she kept banging on about strong and stable, you know, and all this, and that were a mantra. <laughs> and she just kept saying it all the time. But it turned out she lost a majority. Uh, so she had to do a coalition with the dupe. Uh, uh, so she ain't strong and stable anymore and she's turned into a little bit of a, a comedy character you know she had a bloody nightmare at the conference party conference uh, and even though they lost the election you know they, they got less seats than the Tories uh, Jeremy Corbyn uh, seemed to be like victorious uh, and he suddenly became a sort of man of the people and everybody were loving Jesse Corbyn and he even turned up at Glastonbury and they're all chanting Ooh, Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> Anyhow, with all the uncertainty around Brexit uh, and Theresa May and her Tory government wobbling about being anything but strong and stable we'll probably end up with another bloody election next year now, across the pond, uh, 2017 has been year of the Trump, hasn't it? The Donald. Uh, and whether you love him or loathe him, there's no dispute in the fact uh, that President Trump is the king of bullshitting. So I'm looking at two state and one state, and I like the one that both parties like. I'm very happy with the one that both parties like. It's like when you used to go to the electrical shop and you're trying to get an iFi system or something and you'd say, oh, what does the graphic equaliser do? Uh, and the shop assistant would go, oh, it equalises your graphics, sir. And you knew he was talking bullshit. You knew he didn't have a clue. And that's what Trump's like. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Now, I reckon there's got to be three categories of folk over in the States. You know, you've got folk who know he's bullshitting and can't stand his policies, uh, folk who know he's bullshitting but love his policies and don't care, but I reckon there might even be a third group of folk uh, who don't even know he's bullshitting, uh, which seems weird to me, because I'd have thought it were obvious. I mean, you've only got to look at his hair, because that bloke is trying to, he's trying to bullshit everybody that he's got a full head of hair there, hasn't he? When you've lost your hair, you've just got to embrace it, ain't you? You know, there's no point in trying to pretend. So that concludes my review of the news for 2017. Uh, just fingers crossed that uh, Donald Trump doesn't uh, inadvertently start World War Three with a reckless tweet before I've had a chance to upload this to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Right, click on that if you missed part one and click on my page if you uh, want to subscribe. Yeah. Ciao.